second video of the night. Yay me. <laughs> For those who have just joined us, I'm still smoking my, finishing up my Mirsham, Turkish Mirsham Ray pipe with some Peterson Special Reserve 2016. thought I'd share another story with you. This time a recent, it happened yesterday, or no, the day before yesterday, it's past midnight already. Anyways, on Saturday. Um, I'm often asked about uh, tobacco stores in Moscow, and uh, my usual reply is they're pretty standard we have probably they stock the same stuff they have the same accessories they can probably uh, if they don't stock any of something they can probably buy it for, obtain it for you some of them are actually pretty good I have recently received uh, one of these uh, web stores was even doing a promotional calendar for 2017. Sorry, I'll try to find first page. So huge as calendar. It says aspects of taste and it basically is they showcasing their uh, what they have in stock displaying it just beautifully and each month is just devoted English blends and the next one is sorry February and they are alternating between black these Balkan blends. Now we have March Virginia blends, etc., etc. Um, so the web stores in Moscow are. I, I don't have any complaints about those. The physical stores not so much let me show you something again I'm using this small but fancy temper it's bamboo and metal I don't know which brass mm, not really and this is what leads me into today's story So this Saturday, I I went to the uh, specialized store near me. Well, it's not particularly near me. One one subway station away from me, and one trolley station from there. So about half an hour. In general, turns out I have an awesome store that sells that sells jewelers' supplies, everything for engraving, polishing, etc., etc. And I bought this the polishing thingy. <laughs> don't know how to call it in English. Sorry about that. And I was making my way from that jeweler's store to the hardware store where I purchased the nuts and bolts to fasten it to my drill to polish stuff. 
and while I was going from point A to point B, I saw a rather big sign that says tobacco. And I'm always interested in stuff like that because uh, uh, I think I knew the only tobacco store in my vicinity. So naturally, I was kind of in a hurry, but I went in. And it turned out to be um, a, a big store. Tall ceiling. Big room. Humidor the size of... Larger than this kitchen. <laughs> As far as I can understand, it mainly sells. Uh, how do you call these? Hookahs or shishas. You know these glass things with a hose, smoke tobacco from it. It comes from the Middle East. And nine times out of ten, it looks like a prop from. You know, Arabian Nights, something like that. Those are very popular in Russia nowadays because there was, in the 90s, there was a huge... The population of people from the Caucasus, and from the Middle East, just exploded in Russia. So this store mainly sells those. But it has a display of pipe tobacco, two display cases of pipes, half empty, I must say. And two assistants. A uh, younger guy, younger than me, definitely. Makes me look like an old, like an old fart. <laughs> no, younger than me in his 20s, probably. And the girl, about the same age. Definitely of some southern heritage, you know, black eyes, jet black hair, facial features. And they looked bored after the, of their lives. Uh, so when they saw me coming in, they jumped at me. <laughs> what can we do for you? And I was just, I wasn't gonna buy anything really from them. And the guy says, excuse me, what do you smoke? I said, I'm a pipe smoker, only pipes. So his eyes grow wide, her eyes open up, and he says, we've never had a pipe smoker here. <laughs> and I'm very interested in the pipe smoking culture, although I don't smoke, my, don't smoke a pipe myself. To which I reply, I, I love this reply, picked it up from a friend of mine. Uh, I said to him, well, you're basically one con corn cob away from trying a pipe, it's just... And both of them kind of froze and says, so there are pipes made of corn cobs? And this this point I'm, I understood that they know nothing <laughs> about pipe smoking. It was just, I was just baffled for a moment because there, there was, there's a huge store, selection of tobacco, selection of pipes, not the high end. Well, there are two or three high end pipes, bunch of pier wood, couple of briars, separate display of pipe accessories, mouthpieces, uh, tempers reamers, pipe conditioners, and both of the people that are supposed to be selling this stuff know nothing. <laughs> and I'm like... And they are legitly start... They start asking me questions. What are these? Can you please tell me what are these? Uh, what are these pipes made out of? And I'm just <laughs> doing a circle around the shop saying, you know, pier wood, pier wood, pier wood, I don't know what's that, uh, briar, briar with a Mearsham insert, uh, 
you know, these are cold tempers, these are pipe cleaners, these are pipe conditioners. <laughs> and all, at the same time, I'm feeling myself like a complete idiot. Because, and I'm, I'm not even, I wasn't even infuriated. <laughs> it was just a ridiculous situation. In the end, I decided to buy something from them, <laughs> just <laughs> out of curiosity. And the whole purchase was similarly ridiculous, because I was just pointing and saying, give me this thing, by the way, it's called this and that. I bought this tamper from them, <laughs> for example. I think it's done. Oh well, going with the spare. I always carry a spare pipe. And I'm just... I, I didn't know what to say really, because you are selling the stuff. Google the shit! <laughs> you can't... Temper is too big. Uh oh. Good thing I have a small screwdriver. So you can Google that. Even in Russian, if you don't know English, there is information, a wealth of information on pipe smoking. Of course, I don't know the situation. Maybe these were just trainees or. I'll monitor this store. Because you can always... It's always good to have a store nearby. But the... The incompetence of these guys just baffled me. <laughs> so... It's a, it's a Mearsham insert. If there's no insert, it's just raw wood. Yeah, but they sometimes carbonize it. They what? Oh, God. <laughs> Ridiculous. So there you have it. Russian web stores that sell tobacco. They're great and competent. Physical stores? Not so much. Sometimes. These guys are much too centered on uh, cigarettes and hookahs and uh, vaping equipment. That's a new fad. They know much about this, the pipes. Not so much. Makes me feel like an old fart yet again. <laughs> Anyways, thought I'd share this one with you people. Thanks very much for dropping by. I will be back soon with more videos. The holidays are, state holidays are pretty much over. I have, we have the 8th of March, the International Female Day. If we, if I survive this, I'm pretty much in the clear. Why cannot I smoke this one? Hmm? No. Anyways. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more videos. See you.